right, so let's talk about how to make a funnel for cars. So let's just go over here to back, then we'll just type in car funnel, and then car funnel here. We're gonna create a website. So we're gonna do our awesome headline. Let's say that our headline here is gonna be come in for a test drive, test drive. Sub headline over here is gonna be, okay, so we got that. And let's say that we wanna go and create a logo here, Acura. So let's say that we sell Acura because I'm going to attempt to use my picture of my Acura that I took this morning. Acura logo. Okay, so we're going to use one that's transparent. Let's try to use that. Okay, so I'm just going to use this one. Save image to my phone here. Pretty sure that happened. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to upload. Right here, I'm going to go to photo library. Show did happen. Scroll down here. I'm going to use this image. Boom. So there's that. Upload an image of my car. Okay. So we go through this and I'm going to uh, edit this. Crop it a little bit. Okay. So that should make it less than two megabytes, which is what the thing is looking for. So we'll go back to our photo library again. Because in the event that you get that error, and we're working on that. It's something that will be uh, fixed, but you know, if you have a high resolution phone, then that happens. So we're gonna use this image here. So we got Acura that, we got name, phone number. We're gonna do the button right here. I like green buttons. We're gonna use our disclaimer link, whatever that is. If your dealership website most likely has one at the bottom of their dealership. So make sure you use that, especially if you're gonna run ads to this. We're gonna save it. We're going to go scroll back to the top. We're going to copy this first. We're going to go under settings. And this is what shows up on social media. So you want to make, and you might want something different on social media that you use for your offer. But for this instance, I don't. So I'm just going to copy it over real quick. We're going to use that same picture that we just uploaded as our share image. Right now, we don't have another uh, URL to redirect to. So we can have it send you an, a notification. You can add your Facebook tracking and you can add the webhook to go to your CRM right there. So we're gonna save that. And then here's what our page looks like, right? Basically, and that's actually a toy in SX that Acura sent me. So there's what our web page looks like, okay? But we're not quite done yet. We're gonna go over here and we're gonna add another page to this and we're gonna add the thank you page. Okay, so there's that. You can go over here and use the Acura image. And go over here and upload the actual Acura picture. Same stuff, we don't need a button over here. Uh, disclaimer link, you can also add your disclaimer link there. We're gonna save that. And then here is what it looks like. Okay, so that's what it looks like, boom, really simple. We're gonna go back over here to this first one and we're gonna edit it. We're gonna go under settings and we're gonna redirect it, see how it automatically added the website that we just created in there. So we're gonna add it, and we're gonna save it. And so what's gonna happen is they're gonna opt in right here to this one. So they opt into that one, and then it leads them over to, see this one? So you put their name, email address, and phone number in there. It sends them that one. It's gonna send you a lead to your email address and uh, or your text message, however you decided to get it. And you're all set, you've created a car funnel and you can do that, you can do it with videos, you can shoot a video from your phone, anything else that you need. Uh, but I just use still images for this one for uh, simplicity and to make it quick. And uh, you're all set, you've got an entire car funnel made just like that.